So whilst I'm waiting patiently twiddling my thumbs for the brand new Stardew Valley update, I decided to set a personal challenge on my main end game farm in Stardew Valley whilst I'm waiting for 1.6 to release. And this challenge is to try and earn 1 billion total earnings. For the last three years in game, I've been hoarding and collecting everything that I've been producing on the farm. I have not sold anything. We have got stacks of these items that I have produced so very much of in the last three years. I've been working hard grinding on this farm. I am currently in year 38 and I'm going to be continuing to produce until we get to spring the first in year 39. And then I am going to sell everything that we have got and see how much that puts us on and hopefully this number goes up massively and then we are one step closer to a billion. Will it ever be done? I really would love to see this total earnings be 1 billion, that would be insane. Let's uh, get producing and let's get selling. So if you are kind of familiar with my endgame farm and you've been watching a lot of videos of me working on this layout, this is the first ever save file that I created in Stardew Valley way back when it released in 2016. I have done everything on this save farm, I've got it to 100% per Oh my god! Oh, hold on a second, guys, that is incredible! We just got a tiger slime egg, which, by the way, sells for 8,000 gold. We got this from the amazing lionfish pond. These things are amazing if you put them into ponds, because you do get that rare chance of getting the tiger slime eggs. Wow, that was insane! But yeah, like I said, this farm, I've done everything, guys. We have got everything completed and done. So, the only thing that I can really do now is just play to earn money. And I've set myself a little goal to try and get as much money as possible. One good and exciting thing though is when 1.6 releases, there is going to be a ton of new things that we can, you know, collect and work towards. So this farm is not over. So the more money, the better. It allows me to buy everything in the game. Let's say there's a brand new building that gets released that's worth 20 million gold or something crazy like that. We are going to have the funds to do it. So I want to show you around in case you are new to this and kind of show you my productions, the areas where they are, what I've been producing for years on end, how I make so much money, and yeah, what you're about to see me produce and sell on a huge scale. So first, let's start with animals. We have got ostriches. This came with a 1.5 update. It took a while to fill this out and breed them, but we have got ostriches. They give us large eggs, which are quite valuable. But if you turn these into mayonnaise, you get even more money. We have got artisan profession, so yeah, we get a lot of money from these goods. We also have dinosaurs in the coop over here, so I make dinosaur mayonnaise as well. Oh, speaking of dinosaurs, another one has just hatched. We're going to call it dino. So yeah, I'm currently working on filling this whole coop out with... Um, dinosaur eggs as you can see we have got the auto grabber but the animals seem to need feeding so let's put another one of these to incubate i think that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we can have two more we do have a blue chicken i am not getting rid of the blue chicken i think it looks awesome so yeah he's in there with the dinosaurs it looks very prehistoric it kind of fits the theme so that is perfect i do need to quickly just go and sort the animal food out otherwise they are going to hate me question is do we have any left in the chest here 217 we need to buy some animal food great so yes mayonnaise from the ostriches and the dinosaurs is a, a big thing that i do but also one of the best ways to make a lot of mayonnaise is from golden chickens you get a golden egg once you reach 100 percent perfection and yeah golden eggs are very valuable even just selling them on their own but what we want to do is turn these into mayonnaise so we've got auto petters and auto grabbers in here but i'm going to show you where my mayonnaise production is. This is a new project. I used to have all the mayonnaise machines in the coops, uh, but I need to go bigger scale. We've got a lot of eggs to turn into mayonnaise. So I have dedicated this shed here, and this is going to be my mayonnaise production. As you can see, we've got a few mayonnaise machines here already, but we need a lot more. I want to fill this out completely, at least on the left side here. Uh, the kegs, these were some spare kegs that I had lying around. I might remove them soon. But this whole left side, I want to be mayonnaise uh, machines. So I'm currently working hard on getting this project set up. And that's what you guys are going to see me do today. And as you can see, look how much mayonnaise we've got, guys. We've got stacks of mayonnaise. We're going to have even more. We've got a lot of dinosaur mayonnaise as well. But another project that I want to start with you guys today that I've not done on this farm for a very long time is pigs. Truffle oil. If I want to get one billion, we need to get as much money as possible. So yes, I'm going to fill the other, the right side of this shed with 
oil makers, uh, and we are going to make truffle oil. I had a few truffles lying around, as you can see, uh, and that is our second truffle oil so far. We've got eight truffles, because I used to have pigs way back, way back, uh, but I need them back again. We need to get even more, so that is what we are going to do. But let me show you other productions that I have been doing and working hard on. And the next one is fish row, caviar. Yeah, we got a full shed here. So I've got a lot of fish ponds. We get a lot of the row, as you can see. We've got blobfishers, larva eel, lionfish, stingray, and sturgeon. Sturgeon give us the caviar, which is quite valuable, 700. Very similar to aged blobfish row, which is also very valuable. But the larva eel row is incredible. And that's uh, what we're trying to work towards. The lionfish and the stingray... They aren't really for the row. I've just got those because they do give us items like you witnessed, the tiger slime egg. But first, let's gather all of this. We have got a lot of this. We've got to keep producing it as much as we can. Like I said, I've not really sold any of this for... I think this is the third year where I've not sold anything for a while. I've been hoarding and collecting it. This might be... It might be two years, but we're going into the third. So much caviar here. Wow. Another 35. That's a great stack of caviar right there. Let's get those away. But let's move on to another production to give you guys an idea, and this is the starfruit wine. So I plant starfruit over on Ginger Island. That is where I do the big massive harvest of those. And we do actually need to get another harvest down, so we are running very low on starfruit now. In fact, after this lot, we are going to be out, so maybe that's a, another project we can do today in the video. But we have been aging this, which sadly takes a very long time, but it really increases that money in value. So I've got a lot of casks in the cellar under the house which i will go and take you to and show you very soon right that is all the star fruit we've got another big harvest here though that we can go and take ready to age but this is the barn of ancient fruit as you can see we've also got another stack of this we've got tons of ancient fruit though because i have placed them into the greenhouse that is where they are and they are all year round so we never really struggle with this but star fruit wine is more valuable than ancient fruit so it is better to do that if we can that is the next lot of ancient fruit wine on the go. That is perfect. But another production is the shed full of crystallariums, which is full of diamonds. Apart from this bottom right here, which is where I get my earth crystals from. Now, if you're wondering why the hell are you getting earth crystals? This is for the mayonnaise machines. Like I said from the start, we want to fill out that full shed on the left side of mayonnaise machines. And this is why I am farming for earth crystals. Which, to be honest, we've probably got enough for that. So I'm going to put some diamonds into the uh, into there now. But yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot of diamonds. We've nearly got the third stack of 999, which is pretty wild. They aren't ready for a few days, though. It's getting pretty dark, but then we we'll move on to mead. The only reason I've got this is currently full of coffee, because I do also like to make coffee for the speed. But we've got a lot of, like, honey bee houses around uh, in the valley, on the farm, etc. So... If I gather that up and we've got a big stack, I just turn it into mead. It's not really something that makes me a lot of money, but it is extra and I do produce quite a lot of it. So this was more my early game moneymaker. I used to do a lot of mead before I got all the bigger productions and I just never really got rid of it. But we do also have some tea leaves and coffee beans that I have in a shed with garden pots. So I can make a lot of coffee and uh, green tea. I guess it's more money if I want to sell these as well. Of course, I've already shown you this one where I'm going to do mayonnaise and truffle oil. This is the greenhouse filled with ancient fruit, which there is actually another harvest. I'm going to leave that for now, though, because we've got a ton of it. We've, we've got even more honey here. And this is what I mentioned before. I do have these around. This used to be a solar panel farm to get a lot of batteries, but I have moved that into a new location, which I'm going to show you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I did a massive harvest of pumpkins, and we managed to get some giant ones, which is incredible. I'm going to keep them forever. They look so good. Before I sleep, I'm just going to quickly show you the slime hutch. This is another project, another production chain that I've got going. We come along, we get all of the slime eggs. These are currently filled with tiger slimes because they're adorable. And we might get the chance to find tiger slime eggs. That is the third one so far. But yeah, we just use the slime and we have a chance at trying to get some eggs. Another production I've got is this, the prismatic shards. I get one every single day here. And I've just been gathering them, like I said, throughout the year. Plus, if I go to the school cavern, and we've got 64. Now, you can probably see how many batteries I've got here. I'll show you where that's coming from very soon. Okay, it's a fresh day. Let me show you the last few productions. And then I'm going to do maybe a big time lapse, or I'm going to skip ahead till winter until we get a lot more that we can sell. I basically do this daily. 
But here in the desert, this is where I've got my solar panels. This was a big project, we have a ton of them, and we have a hell of a lot of batteries. Not the most valuable thing in the game, they only sell for 500 each, we've got a lot of productions higher than this. But guys, in the desert, it's sunny every single day, we never get rain, it's out of the way of people, we're using the space well. I might extend this and go even further, we do have loads up here as well though as you can see. We've got a crap ton guys, it's insane. We'll get the exact number in a second, just to see how much we get every 10 days. So there we go guys, that's 336 every 10 days. Do you think that's enough, or should we go for more? But look at this, so many batteries, wow. This is my bar production, mainly I do Iridium. I'm just using Iridium purely to sell, but I have done a big massive harvest of gold here because we need it for crafting. But like I mentioned before, not only do we want mayonnaise machines, but I also want oil makers, which use a lot of gold bar. And I should have not used the slime. I completely forgot I'm actually holding off on the slime eggs for a second because I need to get a big harvest of slime to make some oil makers. So, yeah. But we've also got a hardwood forest down here. This is for the hardwood, which we also need for the oil makers. What do you guys think? Can we reach a billion? Is the road to one billion a bit extreme? Has anyone ever done it before? I'm pretty sure they have. To say this is my main endgame farm, it seems like 190 million is just not, doesn't seem like a lot. But like I said, I've not really, I did take a massive break from this farm for years. I've only recently started picking it up and playing it again. And that is why I've been holding and hoarding all of the things I've been producing. So the income's not really gone up for a long, long time. It's been stuck at 190 million for years and years. But now it's time to go to the next destination which is another production. This one is it's a little small. It was something I was testing out. Doesn't really bring in too much money, but it's something I never did before. So I wanted to give it a go. But here we go, guys. This is my maple syrup farm. All of these trees, the maple trees have heavy tappers on. So we get these every three days. It's quite fast. And also I changed the profession. We've actually gone with foraging level 10 with syrups are worth 25% more. I wish this was 50%. I feel like the tappers or the products from the tappers need to be a little bit more boosted up. 25% is just not a lot. So basically, these sell for 250 gold. Like I said, they're not massive. It doesn't really make too much money. But it is something I wanted to try. I've never done it before. And you know, every three days, getting a big amount of maple syrup, it does add up. And I've filled all of this area, this open space. I've used the space well. As you can see, there's even more around here. It's just a little bit of something, you know? Is that it? 53? I thought we got more than that. Maybe I should plant more. But we do have more honey here, like I said. I've got a lot dotted around everywhere. But here we are on Ginger Island. And this is what it's all about. Fairy Rose Honey makes so much money. That rhymed. But yeah, this is good stuff. We've got quite a lot. I was thinking of expanding this and going even further. Fairy Rose, you know, once they are at their full stage, they never disappear. Ginger Island acts as like a, a greenhouse, one massive greenhouse, so you can have them all year round, even when it's winter, because it's always summer here, basically. But this stuff sells for 952 gold for one. Nearly a thousand gold, which is so good. And we get this every three days as well. I feel like I'm constantly harvesting this recently. Some days I even forget, because it just goes by so fast. The fact that you can do it all year round over here is just insane. This is such a massive boost of money. And I highly recommend anyone to do it. Use Ginger Island as the space to, for your Fairy Rose Honey production because it's the best thing you'll ever do. If, if money is something you're really seeking right now, definitely get this set up. It might take some time, you know, crafting all of the bee houses. It is grindy, but once you've set up, guys, it is really, really good. It's probably one of my fastest ways of making big money. Like I said, every three days is just wild. And look at that, 156 fair rose honey. That one stack, every three days, sells for just under 150k. Absolutely insane. This is where I did the star fruit. We need to go ahead and plant some more here, because I've ran out. So we're going to do that tomorrow. But that is all of my productions. Maple syrup, fair rose honey, batteries, iridium bars, prismatic shards. I was hunting for the pearls, which by the way sell for 2.5k. And, and these, I think, I can't remember if it's from the stingray or the lionfish. But I've only found four so far. They're very rare. That was a production I was trying to, to farm for. But while we do the dailies, because I forgot to do them on this farm. This is the new barn that I've recently built. 
which is where the pigs are going to go. So I'm going to buy some, I'm going to fill this out with pigs tomorrow, whilst we buy some animal food, because we really do need to, need to get some. And then we'll also do the star fruits as well. Why the hell is Marnie never open? Ever! It's Thursday, I thought she opens on Thursdays. Oh, I hate her with a passion. I just hate her. Oh, the ancient fruit wine has got 24 days and it's in gold stage. That is amazing. So we've not managed to get much to Iridium right now because it takes so long. But look how much wine we have got. We have got stacks of it here, ready to age. It's just taking forever. But this stuff is valuable. Holy smokes. Well, instead, we are going to go ahead and buy some starfruit seeds. Sandy looks amazing in this mod. Wow, she looks beautiful. This is the uh, the outfit change. I wish you could marry Sandy. Uh, let's go with starfruit. Okay, we're going to need... I might just get a full stack. Ready for the second lot of harvest as well. Time for Ginger Island. We've got a busy time farming and planting, preparing the land. Yeah, it's going to take some time. Oh, that took far too long. Next time, when these star fruit seeds are done, you harvest them. Because the soil is still prepared and watered, you need to get the next lot straight in. Because I didn't do that last time, the soil just started to decay. I'm not going to water these tonight. We should be fine. You don't get uh, crows over on Ginger Island, so you don't need to scare crows. And because it's like a big greenhouse, you're going to get the harvest eventually, so... I'm tempted to put some deluxe speed grow down though, just to really speed this up a little bit. I think we've got a bunch left, so let me take a look. It's only left me with 358 left. Oh, I still have 178 left in this chest, that's, that's good. That gives me 536 for the next lot, perfect. We've got 100. I think I might just buy a full stack tomorrow from Pierre's, why the hell not? This is about getting the total earnings up, not the current funds. So I don't really mind, to be honest. I have got a lot of oak resin, though. I could craft a lot of this. To be fair, I don't really need the oak resin because I've got a ton of kegs. I feel like we don't need much. We've got 188 here. Wow. Might be able to craft a big amount. I know it's not the hyper as well. It's only the deluxe, but that's still good enough for me. We can make... Where's all the coral? I'm sure we've got more coral than that. Is it over in the ginger island chest quickly? I might have to sleep over here. Might be in this, these two chests. I'm sure I've seen some coral in here. Let's have a look. Okay, that's a, that's a bit better. That is a bit better. Might be able to save some money if I uh, if we craft it. But there we go. They are... Oh, we are missing some here. Oh, yes. That's not good. I need a nozzle, guys. Big time. That's going to really wind me up. It's a waste of money, but I don't want to be watering these, so I'm going to have to get rid of those. I completely forgot about that gap. That's, that's perfect. Is there any coral on Ginger Island that I can harvest today? Yes, there is. I'll take any of this. If it saves me a little bit of money, free fertilizer. I'm also going to check the beach because we're going to buy some pigs and some animal food at the same time. If Marnie's open, I can imagine she's not. Useless, that woman. Absolutely useless. So yeah, I completely forgot. Because I decorated it, not much stuff spawns anymore. But over here, tidal pools, we do get some. Just in case we aren't going to get enough, I will also buy some deluxe speed grow. This could be used for the next lot as well, so it doesn't really matter too much. Any more that we craft is a bonus. She's finally open, wow. Right, first let's buy a few stacks of this, so expensive. But I just don't have the space on the farm for grass anymore. Only for the animals to eat. The auto feeders though, we need a lot of this. So good job I've got 33 million in the bank. I'm going to fill the inventory completely full and this is going to be a job I don't have to worry about at least until spring. So that's a, a big stack of hay there and we've also purchased 12 piggy wiggies. But the first job that I'm going to do before we work on the pigs and the truffle oil I am going to get the speed grow planted on Ginger Island and also put this hay away. Oh, it's busy, busy. We are so busy, but I love it. So let's put all this in here. 
mean, it's basically a stack and a half just to fill the silos. Hopefully that lasts till spring. I think it might. I think we might be okay there. Oh, I've got to do all the dailies as well. I call it the dailies because I have a routine every day. You know, collecting the fish row, getting the mayonnaise on, sorting the animals out. Yeah, we've got a bit more slime here. Oh, managed to find a purple egg. They are quite valuable. I will take that. But now we need to keep all the slime. Because it's going to be used for oil makers. So I can't keep putting that in there anymore. Right, I can make a lot of mayonnaise machines. We've finally got enough earth crystals. I'm going to craft 60 and see how much we go from there. And then, of course, we can make 20 deluxe speed grow, which you get packs of five. So we've made 100. That is awesome. Right, let's get these down and hopefully we don't need too much more to fill this side out. Yes, we did craft a little too much. So I'm going to maybe have more mayonnaise machines. Two more. Yeah. It's going to take a while to fill out these oil makers because they are so harsh on the value, the resources. The slime's just the most annoying. But we've not even got truffles yet. So we're fine. But we have got five in total and five minus ten truffle oil already. I will take that. Right, look at the mayonnaise machines now. Oh, this is so good. The mayonnaise is going to be coming in big batches. And we've got a lot of eggs to get through. We can't forget about all the ones that the auto grabbers have been picking up for seasons on end. And these golden eggs are amazing. They give us so much. I think they give you free gold mayonnaise per egg. No matter what the quality. So, it's safe to say we no longer need earth crystals for quite some time. So, we're going to replace those with diamonds. And we have finally got round to doing the deluxe speed grow. So this is going from 13 days to 9. That is so much better. So this is my job for the next, well, for the rest of the night. Boom. We have got the speed grow down. So guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to repeat what you've just been seeing throughout this video all the way up until the first of spring. Whatever we have produced in that time, with what we've already been collecting for so long, we're gonna ship everything and see what that puts us on to total. So, I've got quite a lot of hours to play in Stardew Valley right now, just grinding to first of spring, every single day doing the dailies, and I'll catch up with you soon for the outcome. How much money can we make? Six hours later. Well, here we are. This has been a couple of days later from when you last saw the footage. This has took a long time, but we are officially into spring. A brand new year. It is the second of spring. And oh boy, a lot has happened since I last caught up with you guys. But before we sell everything, we are very close to shipping everything that I've been producing. We've got one more day. I've got to go around and make sure I've gathered everything. There's a few more things that I've not gathered yet that are probably ready today. So first, let's talk about the aging of the wine. So I have managed to get through a lot of this and there's one reason why and how that's happened because I used fairy dust. That is right guys. I wanted to speed up the aging of the wine because it's the most profitable, valuable thing that we've got going but it takes about 50 days to, to age it to full quality. So I've had to sacrifice some of our diamonds to make fairy dust. I have crafted a full stack of this so we've lost a full stack of diamonds but diamonds compared to aged wine yeah, there's no comparison, so I didn't mind doing that. I had a ton of fairy roses on Ginger Island, and as you can see, we've got a lot more iridium quality than we did. Sadly, I couldn't craft any more. I don't want to use too many diamonds, but we have now got 225 aged ancient fruit wine and 555 aged star fruit wine. And we've also got another load in. We've got some uh, star fruit wine here. But it's nice to see spring again, it really is. So another thing that I was doing, you've probably seen something here, some looms. I created this little area. I had a lot of looms lying around from when I used to craft them before. And I had a ton, I think I had like 400 or 300 and something wool. So I thought, why not turn it into cloth? And here we go, I've got a stack of 414. This sells for 658 gold each with the artisan profession. So this is actually some good money, extra money that I'm going to uh, ship today. Let's take a look at the slimes. We managed to get a lot more eggs. I literally just gathered this stuff, but here we go. We've got a few more eggs that we can ship today, and one of them was red. Very good. The pigs, they have all fully grown, but I completely forgot about something. They don't find truffles in winter, so we have not found any truffles. We've made no truffle oil other than the ones that we had at the start. So that is going to be a job for this year to add towards more earnings for, for this full year. 
We finally completely filled the dinosaur coop. There's now 12 animals in here, 11 dinosaurs, and one lone blue chicken. So I've been gathering mayonnaise daily. We finally got through all of the eggs. We had a ton of eggs. I had so many lying around in the auto grabbers, especially these gold ones. I had been gathering these for so long, and I finally managed to get through all of them and make some mayonnaise. Which, let me show you how much we've got. It is insane. But we have been working hard on all the aged row. Look, I've got 100 dead on blobfish row, which is that's such a nice number. But yeah, we've got loads of larva eel row, loads of caviar. Been doing this daily as well, because you get row every single day. There is no starfruit wine to harvest just yet, but we have got another lot going. But that's going to be done in a couple of days, so we're not going to do that one today. Same with the ancient fruit. This is done at the same time. I've recently just gathered all of this, so... Same with the diamonds. We've just gathered all of those. And yeah... We have got a lot. Now, sadly, I could have had more, but we did lose a full stack of diamonds for the fairy dust. I was doing quite a lot of runs in the school cavern, and oh boy, did we find a lot of diamonds. Finally got through all the green leaves as well, and the mead. We've got plenty of this that we are also going to ship today. But this is the progress. I finally finished this project. Sadly, we couldn't do any more oil makers. These take so long with the slime. And I thought, you know what? Slime eggs are valuable. I need to be using the slime wisely. So that's what we've been doing. So that's why we've got a lot of slime left over as well. Because, yeah, I just stopped making these. And to be honest, in good reason. We've not even got any truffles yet. So maybe next year or this year currently, I will fill all of this side with oil makers once we start getting a lot of pigs. But a ton of mayonnaise machines allowed me to make a lot of mayonnaise, as you can see, guys. We have stacks of this stuff. Finally, got through all of the eggs. There might be a few more in the auto grabbers that's happened over the last couple of days. But I finally got through the big stack. And yes, there is a lot to sell. Now, I need to go to the quarry because I believe there is some iridium bars. That is the reason why I went to the school cavern. I wanted iridium ore. And yeah, we've got some to harvest here, as you can see. Now, some good stuff happened in the school cavern. On the runs of hunting for the iridium ore, not only did we find a lot of prismatic shards, which we're going to sell, and diamonds, but we also found one of the rarest and hardest things to find in the school cavern on a treasure floor, and that was the auto petter. Now, this didn't excite me straight away because I was like, I don't need these. But then I realized we have just built a brand new barn, filled it with pigs, and there was no auto petter in it. So it actually turned out to be one of the greatest finds ever. I needed it. It was the only animal building that didn't have the auto petter. And I completely forgot about it. So yeah, it got put to good use, guys. Every single barn and coop now has an auto petter and an auto grabber. So it's so good. All of the ore that I managed to get only gave us 166 bars. I mean, that's a lot of money. And that was, I did like four, five full dedicated days, morning till night. Used bombs, I used staircases, we had loads lying around. Now another project was the maple syrup. And I completely forgot actually. I said at the start that every single tree had a heavy tapper on. That's a lie. I never finished it. There's quite a lot with normal tappers as you can see. These take eight days compared to a free. Heavy tappers are the best if you want to go for this uh, project. We do have a lot of heavy tappers. But these are quite expensive to craft as well. And one of them is very frustrating and annoying to get. And that is the radioactive bars. So yeah, you have to do those special mine runs from Mr. QI. Yeah, it actually turned out not to be every three days. It turned out to be longer than that. Because not all of these have the heavy tappers. So we didn't get a lot of this stuff. But you know what? I'm going to ship it anyway. And to be honest, these also help towards crafting bee houses, which I did. Because over on Ginger Island, I expanded the Fairy Rose Honey production, which I'll go and show you right now. Oh yeah, and also, another lot of star fruit is ready to harvest, but I'm not touching it yet. Because I need to time it in when I harvest these to plant some more so the soil doesn't decay. The soil's already gone on this side because I didn't have enough seeds to fill it. But look, probably can't tell really, but but I have expanded this and we have another harvest here, which is amazing. So we're going to get this and then I think that's everything that we can ship today. But I've just filled out the areas a little bit more, planted some Beowsers in the radius of the Pharaohs, like these ones here at the bottom. I did give you an exact number of how much these used to give me per three days. So you can compare with the number that we're about to get now compared to the number at the start. And that's going to tell you exactly how much more Beowsers I actually put down here. But there we go, we've now got 216 per every three days. But we are finally ready to ship everything, guys. Are you ready for this? Uh, I think I'm going to sleep and then have a full day of gathering everything tomorrow because we've got to go through all of the, the things to, to gather. So, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. 
So it is shipping day, the third of spring. Let's get to work and let's see how much money we can get. 119 million. What's that going to turn into? So let's start by gathering all of the wine. We're going to have a full inventory here. This is insane. I can't believe after all this time, I am finally starting to ship everything. It feels strange. I almost don't want to do it. But there's a the prismatic shard. It's got 119 in total. But look at those batteries, baby. Oh, did we go to the desert? I wonder if it's some ready today. I will double check. But we got nearly a full stack of Iridium bars. 792. That would have been nice to have 999. But it is what it is. Oh, those slime eggs might be done too, which is good. Did we get any purple? Oh, rubbish. All green again. But we got 401 petrified slime to sell and lots of slime eggs. Let's go. Now we've also got the cloth that I've been producing. We're going to sell that today. We managed to find some pearls, some magma geodes. This is all from the ponds. We've got the dragon teeth, cinder shards I'll keep hold of. But this is where I've kept all the fair rose honey and the maple syrup and the mead. Wow, this is insane, guys. This is insane. I'm going to have to put this in the shipping bin before we get the rest. Jesus. This should be an exciting time, but like I said, I feel so nervous. Oh, it feels so, so weird doing that, but let's go. Let's go. Right, it's time to grab the mayonnaise. Yep, and the truffle oil. We had 10 truffles that I had from the pigs that I used to have back in the day. So I may as well sell that as well today. Everything's getting sold. Oh, it's diamonds. Wow. Let's, let's get all these bad boys. Right, the fish products. Oh, and some more is ready today. That's perfect. And this is actually Love Eel Row. So let's get all of this good stuff. So much caviar there. These gold statues are giving us some diamonds and iridium bars. I'll take it. I do quickly just want to check the desert to make sure there's not a full harvest of batteries to collect. But guys, I think that's everything on the farm. That is everything that we can sell today. Wow. I hope this gives me a lot of money. This is a lot of hard work that's gone into this. Oh yes, we've got the harvest ready today. Let's go. I did not expand this. I kept it as it was. So, and there we go. 336. Damn. And guys, that is it. I don't think there's anything else that I can sell today. Everything that I have produced for so long has been sold. It's time to sleep. It's time to see that number rock up and see what it puts us on. I'm nervous. But also excited in my mind i want to get to 1 billion on this farm this is going to be a good indication of if it can be done or not because if this is nowhere near that figure i have, I have to do this a lot of times so let's see Whew. predictions down below what do you guys think that was a lot of produce right there let's see 119 million has turned into oh my god the, the, i can't even see the figure is waving so much i don't even know what that is we can't even see the numbers down here in the total they're, they're off screen guys so let's let's see what we're on 119 mil please be like 150 are you ready oh okay we're close 147 million wow we're currently on 60 million funds guys that would have been nice to get to 150. That was my figure in mind. I was free. Whoa, 2.3 2 million off. Maybe another stack of diamonds or another stack of wine could have done that. So we was very, very close. 150 million. We're not even a quarter of a billion away yet. I think the first goal is to get to 250 million to get the quarter mark. It's going to take some time, but we have got the truffle oil in production. I'm going to expand that and get another barn. Maybe have two lots of pigs move things around a little bit and yeah keep aging that wine throughout the entire year and see how much we can get but that's been fun coming in gathering the stuff waiting seven days for a lot of it to be done and getting it again yeah it's put us on 119 million to 147 nearly 30 million gold we're just shy of 30 million total there that we've gone from insane guys if you enjoyed it please smash the like button stick around until we do another video where i show you the progress um, again i'm gonna play a few few years in the game hoard everything and uh, work even harder this time and try and get that 147 to 250 that would be a great start i don't know if a billion is ever going to be achieved it seems so far away now maybe my expectations are a little bit too high I thought it could have been done, but I'm not gonna, I don't want to stop until I get it, guys. Please give me some suggestions down below how I can make even more money. Is there something I'm missing? What is the best way? Shall I expand on everything that I've got? I don't know how we're going to do this, but it'll be a good challenge. Subscribe if you haven't. Stick around for more Stardew Valley content. The 1.6 update is dropping soon. So maybe there's some other things that we can produce that's higher in profit and more money. I can't wait, guys. 
Until then, stay safe and stay cozy.